Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jan and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Today's video is going to be fun for me. My niece was over yesterday, one of my nieces, Rachie, and we had a little manicure sesh while her mom and her sister were off shopping. And then we had some more time, so I was like, hey, do you wanna go in and pick a full face of makeups for me to put on for a video? And she said, sure. So that's what today's video is gonna be. Before we get into this, I do wanna say that picture behind my head, it's kinda hard to see. Let me turn on, let me turn the overhead light off so you can get a good look. Alexa, turn the bedroom off, please. There, that's better. So that is her hand and a bottle of nail polish. She took that picture in black and white and sent it to me. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love that. Hold please. Alexa, turn the bedroom on, please. So without her knowing, <laughs> I had a large print of it made and I gave it to her. And then I was like, wait a minute. I kind of need one too. So I asked her if I could do the same thing for my own self and she said, of course. So yeah, if you're wondering about that picture, that's my niece's hand. She took it all by herself and I love it. I think it's so cool and arty. Okay, so anyway, let me pin my hairs back, zoom you in and we can get this party started. Here we go. Also worth mentioning, the day that I'm filming this is Rachel's birthday. She is 12 today. So if the urge strikes, feel free to leave her some birthday wishes in the comment section. I know she would super love it. For my brows, she chose the BDB Billion Dollar Brows Brows on Point Waterproof Micro Pencil in the shade Taupe. This came in a subscription box and I actually use this on the reg. So perhaps I will fast forward through doing one brow in case you care how I do it. And then I'll just edit out the other brow because it takes a bit of time and it's not particularly exciting. And it requires a fair amount of concentration to get my brows to even resemble similarity. They are completely different. I mean, everyone's are for the most part. Also, don't move your brows when you're putting on your brow product. Even when I'm doing this off camera, I do the same thing because my brain is always, there's always conversation happening inside my head. I'm not sure if I should admit to that or not, but there is. And my face is uncontrollable. No matter oh, what I'm thinking, you can pretty much see it on my face, which as you might imagine, isn't necessarily a good for me. <laughs> so, I mean, obviously I, I messed up a little bit here, but I think it's gonna work out. Yeah, all right, let me go do the other brow real quick. Okay. I forgot to have her choose an eye primer, so I'm going to assume she would choose the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base because it's what I always use. I could be wrong. I have several in there, but that's what we're going to use today. So I've dipped in I <laughs> I don't know if you can see this. Like, it's pretty much empty. I am using whatever is stuck to the side. So I am going to have to order some more, which is kind of amazing to me. But that's how much I love and use this eye base. The only thing it doesn't work for is Natasha Denona shadows. So. All right, I'm going to put the tape on. Hopefully I do a good job because sometimes I have to put it on and take it off and put it on and take it off. <laughs> ah, it's so much fun. 
Well, that's not right for sure. Once more with feeling. It literally went in my dress. <laughs> Hold on. Is today gonna be like yesterday? Yesterday I dropped everything. Everything I touched, I dropped, and it was so frustrating. I was wearing all my rocks. I needed all the help I could get. I had the amber, I had the onyx. I had it all trying to help me out. All right, tapes on. She picked two palettes, one shade from one and four from the other. So the palette she chose is the BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop Orange Zorbe. Specifically, these two shades and these two shades, the orangiest of the shades. And then she chose this shade for my new copacetic eyeshadows. So that is what we're doing. So I'm thinking kind of a one and done, but really two. I'm going to put this shade all over my eye up into my crease and then this shade on my lid. And then I'll use this one and this one for my lower lash line and the copacetic shade as kind of a topper or inner corner highlight, something to that effect. So now I'm gonna take this Refer 28 and the darker orange shade called Zest, and I'm just gonna pack this on all over my entire eye. And then we'll blend it up into the crease. I don't normally do looks like this, so I'm really excited to give it a whirl. And not disappoint Rachel, because she is extremely artistic and super talented and smart and sweet and beautiful. And the other day we played with false lashes. She's been wanting to try them out and at the risk of sounding like an old fuddy-duddy, false lashes aren't necessarily great for your eyes when you're almost 12 or 12. So I was like, well, what about magnetic lashes? Because that feels a lot easier, safer. That's how I learned to put on lashes because <laughs> I was not good at it. Um, so everyone thought that was a good idea. So I ordered all the things and they came in the other day and she put them on like she's been doing it her whole life. Like I gave her the, you know, kind of gist of how to do it and she put them right on. Then she puts them on her sister and just absolutely blows my mind what kids can do these days. She is a very tricky girl. I love them all to pieces. I think they're pretty fabulous. Actually, she made me these earrings. Rachel did. They're itty bitty donuts. And I love them. She's made me a couple pairs of earrings, actually. That's how crafty and creative and artistic she is. Itty bitty donuts. I love it. I think it's so cute. All right, let's just blend this out because it's looking a little cray cray. Look at that. That's what a little bit of blending can do for you. All right, let me do the other eye and then I'll come back and we'll play with the shimmer shades. Okay, I've got that all blended out. And though I'm looking like a crazy person now, I think it's gonna come together and look so cool. So I've just wet my refer 21 and we're gonna go into this shade right here called Tangy. I'm gonna put that on the lid. And I just realized that there are sprinkles all over this palette and it totally matches my earrings. And then up into my crease because my eyes are hooded and they will end up there anyway. Very cute. All right, now I'm gonna dip into the shade right here for the inner corner and Blend it onto my inner lid a little bit. This is a pretty... Mm. That's not working. What do I do? What do I do? Do I 
have to use my finger. It does look pretty, but... Okay, I think I figured out a way to get it on my lid. It's actually using <laughs> my finger with a little bit of setting spray on it. This isn't, you know, like a, a pigmented shade. This is just a glimmery topper. There. We have it. Okay, now we'll take off the butterscotch tape and clean up the mess. It would seem I also forgot to have her pick out eyeliners. So I'm going to assume she would pick an orange for the lower waterline. And I don't know if she would necessarily pick anything for the upper, but I always use like a black or a dark brown. This happens to be the Sephora, uh, what are you called? Ultimate Gel Eyeliner. It's a waterproof in the shade Black Matte. I really like this. I like these, this whole line of Sephora eyeliners. They are really, really nice. So I'm just going to slap that on. Now for the orange, this is uh, the Odin's Eye uh, Gel Liner in the shade 002. On the box it had the shade names, but I didn't end up keeping the box. This is one of the best ones from that collection. Some of them are kind of bad, but this one's really good. It's an excellent eyeliner. I wish all of the eyeliners were this good because I would be a huge fan, but sadly they are not. For foundation, she chose out the RCMA foundation that I've been using. So we're gonna go in with that today. I'm gonna use my Rare Beauty foundation brush. I really like this brush. I use it every time it's clean. My eye primer brush and my concealer brush are both Rare Beauty as well. I really, really like these brushes. For concealer, she chose the one size concealer. When I got this, I really, really liked it and I used it quite a bit. And then I realized that it was as good or almost as good as the e.l.f. Nope, the Wet n Wild Incognito which is one of my most favorite concealers. And it's dirt cheap. So <laughs> kind of hard to justify paying, you know, way more for a product that's basically the same thing. So with my concealer brush, I'm just going to tap that out. For setting powder, Rachie chose out the Believe Beauty setting powder. I've only used this once or twice, maybe, and I'm pretty sure I liked it. So let's set all that down. I do apply it pretty heavily in my T-zone because that's where I get the most oil production. Yes, it's falling all over me. <laughs> now I'm just gonna use whatever's left on my little poof and just pat it all over of the rest of my face. Down my neck because that's where I took my foundation. All right, for contour, I completely forgot I had this and it's in the drawer right in front of me, which is bizarre. But you know when you have something and you see it all the time, you just kind of stop seeing it? I think that's what happened. So she chose out the Hourglass Diffused Bronze Light. This is more of a contour on me than a bronzer. Let's just contour all the spots. I know, wow, I look ghostly. Okay, don't click out of the video. It should all come together and look okay. All right, let's do a little of the cheekbone to make it look like I have some. <laughs> is such a nice powder for my skin tone. Wish Hourglass would get their shiz together though.
for bronzer. She chose out the Jouer Medium to Deep Bronzer Duo. It's got Sunkissed and Sunset. If you didn't see this, this was the bronzer I took on vacation with us because I just was using it all the time. I couldn't stop. I was loving it. So we took it on vacation <laughs> and then when we got home, I was able to use it one more time. It was so broken that by the time I dipped into it that one time, it was a disaster. And that's the lighter shade. Look at that. It's just so pretty, but I haven't used this one yet since I got it. Cause when mine broke, I knew I had to replace it. I, I was using it, um, I don't know if every time I did my makeup, but most of the time. So I knew I needed to have it back in my collection. So if you have this, or if you pick it up after this video, don't travel with it. Anybody who touches your suitcases doesn't care what's in them. Doesn't care that you like what's in them. They are just doing their job as fast and as easy as they can. And that means they're gonna huck your suitcase. So I just used the lighter shade. I love the darker shade when I'm super tan. This is so nice. I like it so much. Floor blush. I don't know why she chose any of the products she chose. But I've decided she chose this blush because she loves me and she knows it's one of my absolute favorites. It's my Winky Lux what? It's my Winky Lux blush in the shade Knickers. Isn't that so pretty? This is my go-to blush. This is what I pick when I don't know what to pick. When I don't know what to pick. <gasps> oh no! It came loose. Son of a biscuit. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna have to be extra careful with that one. Anyway, this is the blush I choose when I don't know what to choose because it's so pretty and kind of neutral. It can be very, very light or you can build it up to be super bold and it just looks really nice and smooth and pretty on the skin. So maybe that's why she chose it. Maybe she chose it because it's a rose. I don't know. But I'm not mad because look how cute that is. When I got this blush, I didn't hold out a whole lot of hope that I was going to love it, but I wasn't going to be mad about having a rose shaped blush in my possession. But turns out I reach for it all the time. Another product I forgot I had because I've been using something else so much is the Dior Backstage Powder No Powder. For a long time, I used this every time I did my makeup. And then I started using the Revlon one. Nope, maybe, nope. L'Oreal, L'Oreal, the 24 hour. Um, oh my gosh, words. The 24 hour fresh wear powder foundation that makes a really, really pretty finishing powder. I have this in two shades. I have it in the lighter shade and this deeper shade. Rachie picked the deeper shade. Oh, it does look good. For highlight, she chose out the Solomane Moonlight Feel Highlighter in the shade Pink Star. It shifts to green. <laughs> I don't, don't know why it's Pink Star. Maybe it turns pink too. Yep. But that's what we're using today. So I'm gonna get this. Oh yeah, look at that. Very pink. Soup's cute. Use this all over as a face highlight as well. Or well, nose in Cupid's bow. That's fun. Oh, she didn't pick out a lip. Okay, so what happened? <laughs> My sister came back. We got distracted, or I got distracted. Sorry, Ragey. All right, let's finish up the lower lash line and then I'll figure out the lip situation. So we're gonna go in with the other two shades I haven't used yet. This one right here called Tangerine and this one right here called Double Scoop. 
and run that under my lower lashes. And then we'll go in with double scoop. I like it. For mascara, she chose out the Smashbox Super Fan. So I'm gonna curl my lashes, apply this. Um, my brow gel because I only have one right now. And I might see if I can get a hold of my sister and figure out the lip situation. BRB. All right, I was able to get a hold of my sister and my niece said an orange lip if I have it. And of course I do. So this is the final look done and dusted. Let me zoom you in on the eyes so you can see how they look. All right, uh, let us know in the comment section how you think Rachie did. Leave her birthday wishes if you want to. I know she'll really enjoy reading them. And that wraps that. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I super appreciate you. Be good and remember to be kind to you.